Oh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You know, the thing is, uh, when you start looking at the time of Jacob's trouble, and I've done a lot of videos on this subject, but let's do a modern... Mm, take a look at current events. The DOD, I should call them the T Department of Death, has issued a directive that the military, the United States military, can kill U.S. citizens, civilians, if you will, on U.S. soil when they are assisting the police. Now, this was, I don't know if you ever heard of the Posse Comitatus Act, but totally illegal. Of course, it was illegal during the Civil War, too, but eh, who cares what the law says, right? I mean, this is actually treason when you think about it. But, uh, so, here it is. They're actually passed a law that the military can kill U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. I mean, really? Gee, I thought the military was supposed to protect U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. Well, guess what? Remember a while back when they said, you know, I know they're, uh, these heathens are here as illegals, but you know what? If they're willing to serve in the military, we'll give them citizenship. You remember that? So, who do you think's in the military that's going to be given orders to kill U.S. citizens? Illegals. Well, formerly illegals. Heathens. Well, guess what? Somebody did a head count of all the generals in the U.S. Army. 50% of the two, three, and four-star generals in the army are of a certain group of people that, uh, well, let's just say it's a three-letter word. And uh, the first letter comes after I, and the last letter is a W, and there's a vowel with an E. Yeah, so half the generals are, yeah. And of course, a quarter of Congress is too. And uh, no matter who's elected, uh, take a look at who Biden's kids are married to. Look at who Trump's kids are married to. And look at who Kamala is married to. Yeah, so you get the idea, I think. So, you know, and you think about it. In the 70s, after I got out of the army, the it was a rule. For example, all the military hardware, that electronics, had to be made in the United States. Texas Instruments. Everything they made had to be made in the U.S. if it was for the U.S. military. Now, all your computers, guess where they're made? They're not made here. They're made in China. Are there back doors to all the uh, computers? I'm sure there is. All the water plants, all the, elect uh, the electrical distribution plants you know the electrical the gener the electrical generation plants where's all those computers made china everything's made in china right so you know they can shut off the electric they can shut off the water uh the ships i wonder if our planes will even fall out of the sky you know they don't even have all the planes now are electronics you know, at least back in the old days, uh, in World War II, when a pilot was 
you know, everything was controlled by the pilot. Now everything's, you know, pilots just pressing buttons now. What happens if that made in China computer that you press the button doesn't work like it's the pilot wants it to? Hmm. So, you know, it makes you wonder. You got heathens in the military at the bottom and at the top. And uh, my guess would be the chump is going to win. Because after all, all the MAGA right-wingers think he's one of them. And if there was violence either created by the enemy or whatever, they'll just blame, you know, those white suprem miss, you know, and uh, turn the military out loose. It would really help if the electrical went off or the water went off. And, you know, you think about it. Suppose a city was... Uh, not doing what the evil ones want done. Just turn the water off for a week or two. Guess what will happen? You know, no. if you don't have any water to drink for three days, you know what happens? You shrivel up and die. And if you're in the desert, it's even faster than that. But the average person, the average place, you know, three days, you're in trouble. So I don't know. You know, the thing is, a lot of the right wingers would fight if uh, the D's get elected. So my guess is the chump will do it and uh, play right into their hands. That's my guess. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Um, I heard Julia Roberts did a movie in 2023 called The World We Left Behind where the uh, power grid goes down and just chaos. Everything's just chaos. You know, I don't, I've never seen the movie. I just heard about it and saw a couple, couple of one minute clips Makes you wonder, you know, they, they like showing us things in movies, what uh, they would like to do. But it makes me wonder if that's uh, going to be part of the plan. All I know is I would be, I would be ready, people, as best you can. Personally, I, uh, I just can't see the cities surviving. So, and another, another thing too, all these heathen aliens, if you believe in the universal Jesus, that he came for everybody, well, then you've got no reason to keep the third world heathen aliens out of our country. Because after all, they could be saved, right? But if you know who Christ died for, and you know that Paul, the apostle to the so-called Gentiles, never went to Mongolia, never went to China, never went to Japan, didn't go to India, didn't go to the Congo or Ethiopia. No, he went to Greece and Rome, you know. So what does that tell you? You know, he went to, Christ went, died for his people. He says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read Galatians 3.29 about a dozen times until you get it. So, I don't know. This might be it, people. I don't know. I really don't know. Of course, I've been looking for this craziness since uh, the 90s. But every year they wait, the noose around the neck is tighter and tighter and tighter. And the more heathen aliens that come here, the more soldiers they have to be rid of us. Now, I don't know if you know it, but in South Africa, this is what's been going on for decades. 
Now, the African National Congress, the ANC, of whom you've heard Nelson Mandela, the darling of the U Western U.S. media, they are openly communist. I mean, you'll never hear it in the U.S. news, but uh, when you look at their literature, I mean, they got pictures of him with his raised fist up with the red communist hammer and sickle flag. You know, they, they let you know what they really are. But uh, they tell their, they tell their uh, soldiers, oh, you see that farm over there? Inhabited by light-skinned people? Well, if they're dead, that house is yours and the farm. So, you know, three o'clock in the morning, you hear a couple of gunshots, the dog cries out, yelps out in pain. Next thing you know, your windows are being shattered and doors and you got a bunch of armed monsters in your house and uh yeah and this has been going on for decades i've heard this from so many sources it's impossible to not be true and guess what it's going to happen here christ is not pleased with america it's like Job said, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So it's going to come to pass. And I've been warning people for a while, but, you know, nobody wants to hear this stuff. No, they want to hear about the pre-trib rapture. Now they're going to fly away and they won't have to suffer. You know, they ought to read the book of Acts about how Paul suffered, about how Stephen was killed and others chased from city to city, you know, but that's not popular. Nobody wants to hear that stuff. So I don't know. Is it, uh, is this, uh, is this going to be our last relatively Good year? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I've had some dreams. I don't know if they were from the Lord, but they were vivid. Drones flying everywhere, surveilling, surveillance. One dream I had, I was in a, an abandoned house on the edge of the woods in a neighborhood. I don't know if it was city or what, with a small group of people, uh, maybe three, four, five people with me. And they're hunting us. And we're trying to escape into the wilderness. And then I woke up. I, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's an overactive imagination. Maybe it was a dream from the Lord. I don't know. But uh, I've had dreams about Cities that were absolutely desolate. I mean, like almost no people there at all. I don't know how that works. Were the people taken out of the city? Were they, did they all die? I don't know. I, I it's just, I don't know. But, uh, you know, something to think about. But the uh, USDOD, in, you know, giving the military permission to, ab to kill U.S. citizens on U.S. soil without a trial. I mean, I, I never, I, 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 it's unbelievable, unbelievable. So... And it's too well uh, reported to be not true. Of course, you're not going to hear about it on ABC, CBS, or NBC, NBC, CBS, or ABC, or CNN, or Fox. Nope, you won't. But uh, it's being reported, people. 
So all I know is, what would you do if the electric was shut off, if the water was shut off, if bands of armed heathen aliens were roaming the streets looking for things to survive on? Think about it. What would you do? What will you do? You know, we, uh, modern conveniences, we've gotten really soft. So, all righty. Well, may the Lord protect his remnant. All I know is most churches and church people, church goers, as I call them, and the so-called pastors are wolves. They're not preparing the flock for what's coming. They're not doing it. Jesus said there'd be a time of trouble such as never was in time past and never would be. And I believe him. And almost everybody doesn't believe it. No, we're going to fly away, pre-trib rapture. And then they'll tell you that the, the when the Bible says we'll be, uh, the resurrection's at the last trump, and then they tell you, the Revelation tells you there's seven trumps, the seventh one's at the end of the tribulation, and then they'll tell you, oh no, well that's not, that's not the last trump. There's one, there's a last trump before the tribulation that we, you know, that's the pre trib rapture. I mean, when I hear that kind of stuff, I, you know, I am, I am convinced either the Lord has absolutely blinded them or they work for the enemy. Either way, they're in bad shape. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Get ready, people. And make sure you have a Bible for your survival pack. And by the way, there is a wilderness Bible. You can get it on Amazon. It's not paper. It's a type of plastic, the printing. It's waterproof. You look up waterproof Bible on Amazon. It's the I think it's a Psalms and the New Testament, I think. And uh, it's like $25. Um, I forget what they call it. Let me look it up. All right, I looked it up. Waterproof, New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs, King James. Uh, $23, basically. And if you got Prime, it's free delivery. Uh, by Barden, B-A-R-D-I-N, and... Marcy, M-A-R-S-E-E, -E, Publishing. So, yeah. $22. Um, yeah, absolutely. Supposedly it floats. But uh, it's, uh, it's waterproof. Uh, it's not paper. So, and I think it's, I think it's camouflage too. Yeah, <laughs> might come in handy one day. All righty, well, uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.